Okay. All right, guys, guys, guys. With all the negativity, there is something positive going on, okay? We've already talked about City Sissoko, but one player that we have not talked about recently is Blake Wesley. Your boy Blake Wesley is developing. He's cooking up in the background. And I think that this is a legitimate question on whether or not, I, I, I'll give you my thoughts on this, but whether or not Blake Wesley could be or should be our point guard or could he help that point guard situation but before we talk about that okay really quick a message from our sponsor bet us america's favorite sports book where you can bet on everything anytime sportsbook casino horse racing live betting and more we have the best bonuses in the industry that's right get 125 percent sign up bonus and to celebrate our 30 year anniversary we are giving up to 30 risk-free bets a truck, Super Bowl tickets, and more. Don't miss out. Play smart. Join now. Bet US, where the game begins. Okay. So, big shout out to uh, Bet US. If you guys want to support the channel, um, you can go on over to Bet US and you'll receive a 125% bonus. Link in the description. What does that mean? That means if you put $100 in, you would get 125% free dollars to play with so what is bet us well it is a sports book and there's so many different things that you can bet on you can bet on uh the san antonio spurs when it pertains to specific games over or under rebounds over or under wins over or under wins so many different things so please please head on over to bet us and check it out and all you would do if you wanted to try to find anything spurs related it will come up on the front page unfortunately you know there's no games going on right now with the spurs uh so you can't do that but if you did it on the game of or the day of you'll be able to find it but if you head on over to basketball there's so many different things here one thing that i love looking at which <laughs> oh boy i usually look at championship winner let's look at western conference winner Let, let's see what this looks like yeah spurs have the worst chances of anybody of being uh western conference winners um so i probably wouldn't put uh any risk on that but there's so many different things maybe memphis grizzlies that would be a crazy risk but hey it's, it's a good good reward there uh so yeah if you guys want to support uh please head on over to bet us great stuff there you receive like i said receive 125 percent bonus link in my description uh just click that link and and, and check it out all right so guys there is a silver lining with all of this so as far as Blake Wesley is concerned, his last performance, which I don't know when this video will be uploaded. I mean, I know that you are live right now, so I, but I don't know when I'll upload it. But this this game in particular, 28 points, 10 for 16 field goal uh, from three, four for five, which has been stupid impressive, by the way. Like his three-point or shooting has been much better. I think even in the game with the Bulls, uh, he only played three minutes. He hit a three in that game. Uh, so two assists, three rebounds, and a steal. And we've all known that Blake Wesley, he is a project, right? When we talk about project players, that's what he is. He is a project player. Um, the San Antonio Spurs weren't expecting him to come in and immediately be great. That was not the plan. They knew that he would take a little bit of work. But I think what really won them over was his competitiveness, his grittiness, and how how hard he was competing against Malachi Branham. So while right now I think Malachi is just overall as a player more defined in what he does in his role and what what he's capable of doing on the court, I think Blake Wesley does have the most potential when it be comes between the two. And the only reason why I'm, I'm I'm not trying to pin them up against each other, but the only reason why I'm bringing up um, uh, Malachi Branham at all in this situation is because the fact that those two have openly talked about how competitive uh, their workout for the San Antonio Spurs was and you can kind of see why the Spurs just went ahead and grabbed uh, both of them uh, when they could so I now the question is will he fix the point guard situation with the Spurs and I'll be honest in saying he fixes he might potentially fix one problem but as far as the point guard situation I don't know if that'll be the case because when I watch Blake Wesley play he's not somebody who's an elite passer elite facilitator anything like that I don't think that he'll give 
uh, win me the ball in better situations and better positioning than anybody else on our team right now. But I do think that he'll help when it comes to having more options as far as scores, because right now the Spurs don't have that many options, that many like go-to scores. Like obviously Wimby, obviously uh, Devin Fassell, Sohan, that isn't who he is. Uh, while on occasion he's capable of giving you some pretty good numbers, he, he's not somebody that you're going to lean on uh, offensively. And then with Keldon Johnson, once again, he's a he's a player where, yeah, he can give you those points, but then I think in the second half it gets a little shaky if he's doing the same thing over and over um, because teams just adjust. So I think that Blake Wesley would definitely be somebody that as a combo guard, he will come in and give you that scoring that you, that you need and maybe be kind of a uh, spark plug. Uh, in a way as well. So I definitely think off of uh, the bench, he could really help. Um, so I don't know. I, I, I think that's something to at least think about, right? I, I think that's something to think about. I, I don't think that he fixes the point guard situation. And I know some people look at his height and say, ah, oh, you know, well, can he play that shooting guard position? Can he play? I don't, th I don't think it necessarily matters that much. Uh, he can just come in there and if he's, and he's already shown if he can come in and be like a really good spot up uh, three point shooter as well, and then utilize his athleticism uh, when he gets the chance, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, he he can he can be phenomenal. Um, and I know what I'm describing right now is a role player, but that's that's fine. I, I don't I don't not every player that comes out of the first round is going to be a superstar or anything like that. Blake Wesley has a lot of potential, and I think that he can help um, in that. In that regard i don't think that it helps with like a 20 point loss <laughs> that the spurs experience here and there but i do think that he can come in and, and make some type of impact and at least be an extra threat uh for our for our offense uh, and defensively too by the way blake wesley's a a, a good defender uh, he, he he plays tough on that end of the court uh switch hill says uh, the springiness he had pre-injury has started to come back. Handles getting tighter and shooting is getting better. Super exciting uh, since he already may have a top 10 uh, fastest first speed in the league. Or first step speed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, in the draft, that was even the main thing. It was like his first step is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, he's he's um he's definitely a guy that not a lot of people are talking about. And he's also a frustrating player because... I recall a lot of people basically giving up on him uh, after they, basically this season. I think I think the addition of Wimby has actually hurt our fan base. <laughs> I feel like I feel like fans are quicker to give up on players now that we have Wimby. Like like Wimby is it. Like Wimby's the team. That's it. That's all you got. Um, but yeah, Wesley's one of those frustrating ones because starting off, everybody was unanimously saying. He should start. He's the future. He's the he's the best. And I said, hey, you know, maybe he needs a little bit more development. There's some things that's kind of uh, missing in his game. And then now that we got Wimby, everybody's like, Blake, who? It's like, come on, man. Really? True in the summer league? Yeah, in the summer league, man, that was crazy. That was crazy. Uh, it was so many people saying Blake Wesley's the future. Oh, my God. Da -da -da -da. And then now all of a sudden it's like oh yeah oh you mean the summer league this year yeah the summer league this year they did that right it was like the first two games that he played super well and as soon as he played with Wimby everybody forgot about him and was like screw Blake Wesley and I hate that I really hate that um but he's definitely cooking in the background and aside or just just alongside um City Sissoko I, I think he's going to be really or really benefit our team on um, the long haul just something to think about he looked, he looked really good in his first uh, three summer league games. Yeah, he did. And then I think after that, then Wimby played with him, and then everyone was like, screw him. <laughs> right? Because then he play. Am I right, Swish? Didn't he play in... Um, I think that's what happened. Because I'm pretty sure he played without Wimby the first three. And then as soon as he played with Wimby, they were like, yeah, he's trash. And I hate that. Everyone was wanting to cut Blake, including me. I'm sorry, Blake. It's okay, Jala. He had a rough showing in the game with Wimby. That's what it was then. Yeah, as soon as, as, soon as Wimby was there, they were like, yeah, he's, yeah, get him. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. I don't want him on my team. Get him out of here. That's unfortunate. But 
good stuff from him. Good stuff. Uh, overall, as far as his, well, I guess, should we include, nah, screw it. Let's just showcase plus regular season, whatever. Uh, as far as his averages, it didn't change. It, it didn't change. It's still 12 games. Uh, 17.5 points per game, 50% field goal percentage, 38.6% three-point percentage. Um, and that's that's increased from 32 uh, well, basically around 33 to, to almost 39. Nearly 40, actually. Yeah, that's pretty doggone good. Um, free throw percentage. What the heck happened? His free throw percentage is terrible now. But that's okay. Um, and then assists uh, went basically almost doubled. Uh, turnovers about the same. Steals eh, about the same. But yeah. It blocks. 0.8 blocks from 0.2 blocks. And one thing, too, that... And a lot of people don't bring up. I think he added 15 pounds. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure he added 15 pounds of, of muscle this offseason. Um, so hopefully those finishes uh, are, are a little bit better. Because that was my main thing. That was my main concern with him, honestly, was was the finish. The handles and the finishing. I felt like he was, fat, he was too fast for his own good. <laughs> he couldn't handle the ball. And then finishing around the rim was just, eh, not that great. But, um. Okay, okay. I'm going to get to that. IFL. Hold on. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, it's just tough getting excited for B guard talent when it's obvious you need an A guard and better to get anywhere in this league. Um, I, I, I suppose. Look, the Spurs need a really good point guard. I don't necessarily think Blake Wesley will fit that role, but if we were to say that he fits a vital role, like, it's like, um, Hmm. What's a like example of this? Um, I understand what you're saying because like you need your main guys first before you start getting excited for like guys that kind of fill up the roster a little bit. I think Blake Wesley's going to be better than just like a typical role player or anything like that. But I guess it will be very similar to the San Antonio Spurs not having Kawhi, having Duncan no one else and then like a bunch of like role players and then maybe patty mills like patty mills is very essential to winning that championship but you don't have the guys around duncan yet to to be a true threat i guess that's what you mean i don't know is that what you mean or, or better yet not patty mills because they don't play anything like maybe like you see jonathan simmons and everyone loves jonathan simmons like oh my god he's so great uh but if jonathan simmons was on like a subpar team and you just had Kawhi, no one would care but i think blake blake west is going to be legit though give him some time it's like tyus jones sure yeah but good stuff good stuff great stuff he's gonna be pretty doggone good 